and New Year. Maybe it's time to do this, take stock of our medicine cabinets at home. That's right, because I think a lot of us make mistakes, including probably me as well. You know, first of all, your medicine cabinet is probably in your bathroom where it tends to be humid and warm, which actually can cause pills to break down more easily. So it's really better to store your medications in a cool, dry spot. Also, if you have young kids around, you want to be careful keeping your medications in the bathroom or a kitchen cabinet that can be easily accessed by a toddler. My brother actually did that when he was little, got into Ooh. my parents' medicine cabinet. You also want to check any expiration dates on your medications. Pills will probably last a little past that date, but liquid medications often don't. So it might be time to replace your nasal sprays or any cough syrups you might have, or especially an EpiPen. You want to get rid of any controlled substances like narcotics that you no longer need, but remember, don't flush old right. medications down the toilet. It's best to cover them in, they say, kitty litter or coffee grounds before you put them in the trash. Or you can look for one of those take-back programs that will handle expired drugs. I know we have more information about that on our website, WBZ.com. Yeah, a lot of police departments will do that. They'll put out the notice and then take your drugs. Exactly. Important. Doctor, thank you. Yeah.